What's going on, my people? It's your boy T, and I would like to say a huge thank you to all of you for giving me 13,000 subscribers. I can't believe I made it this far. It's just, it feels surreal. Like, a, I can't comprehend it. Thank you all so much. It means the world to me. Without you guys, I would not be where I am today. So, this is why I decided to treat you guys to this new Hoover. This is the Hoover Upright HL4. It's basically a copy of a shark. You know the most basic shark? One of those. So let's see what it's like then. I can't wait to put this vacuum through 200 years worth of testing in one duration. And this is not the only surprise. I've got another vacuum on the way. So it's a very boring plain box. We're not gonna be looking at that. Let's just dive into it. Oh look, this is very reminiscent of a shark. How you open the box and you see diagrams like this so whatever that is whatever this is this packaging also reminds me of a shark how to assemble your hoover hl4 pet upright vacuum grab the main unit of the vacuum cleaner and place it onto the floor tool until it clicks into place you can remove it by pressing on the yellow catch and then it drops off this is the lift away mode Put the pipe into where the dirt enters the bin until it clicks into place the other end of the pipe goes in the wand locks into place and finally the wand goes into the top of the vacuum and it locks into place now tool storage wise you can only put the crevice tool on the machine itself not the turbo brush because this is an additional accessory not designed to be on board because you only get this with the pet model so first impressions i actually quite like how it's designed the handle grip feels really comfortable let's take a look at the base of the vacuum. So this machine has a twin motor setup, one motor for the suction and one motor to drive the brush bar underneath the vacuum. Now this is a great feature because you're not stealing power from the main suction motor. So the brush bar motor, as you can see, is rated at 100 watts of power. So that's more powerful than a shark brush bar motor, if I remember correctly. Here's a brush bar. It's a funny design because it's like a shark duo clean fluffy roller incorporated into one brush bar. So it's basically one single brush bar, but because this is fluffy, it can also dust your hard floors as well. Now these bristles might look short, however, that's only because of the fluffiness. In reality, they're quite long. This is how far the bristles stick at the base. So it's pretty average bristle length wise for the UK. You can remove the sole plate in case of any blockages or if you want to give your vacuum cleaner maintenance, like so. And then you have access to clear out any blockages. It's a very wide diameter brush bar, which is good to see. I'm glad you can remove these brush bars because you can't on the Shark Anti-Hair Wrap Vacuums, nor the Shark Stratos. And you can even give this clear window a clean out. I'm really impressed at that. This right here is a comb because it's an anti-hair wrap vacuum. So far, I'm impressed at the design of this machine. You've got a nice felt padding around the back of the brush bar as well, along with the edges. So it helps with dusting. I can't believe I forgot this. The most important part, how stiff are the bristles? Not as much as a shark anti hair up, but very close. So it's going to do a pretty good job at revitalizing the carpet pile and lifting up the fibers. These are large debris channels, so you can pick up large debris without snow plowing anything around. You've got nice rubber coated wheels on the back, along with the two little rollers on the front as well. Now let's see how long the cable is compared to some of my other vacuums. Yes, you can remove it in one go, which is a welcome feature. And I like how the cable comes out the top rather than on the base of the vacuum. So it's easier to manage when vacuuming. So let's see how far we can go then. We're still going, we're still going. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is about the same length as a shark vacuum because I can actually reach this far with a shark as well. So this is your wand release. If you press on that, you can actually detach the wand like so. And that gives you the ability to utilize. Oh, it's got a click fit, that's nice. So your tools won't fall off, unlike shark vacuums, which use a friction fit. Brilliant. So yeah, you can use the tools like this or remove the wand. It's quite a short wand actually, but you kind of pass the tools directly on as well. I don't like these big bulky handle grips. I think they make it awkward to use in the car or any other confined spaces. I would just prefer a small hose cuff like this, but unfortunately, you cannot attach any tools directly onto it. Right, let's do a quick suction test to see how powerful it is. I've just discovered that over here is a suction release valve. So let's cover that up. The suction seems to be pretty much on par with the shark. 
Now the crevice tool is a nice design. It hasn't got any unnecessary vents or anything like that. It's just a normal crevice tool. This turbo brush, it looks unusual. It's got very thin bristles. They're not stiff bristles, but I don't want to say they're soft either. You've got a big vent right over here and another pair of vents on the top. Okay, I've noticed that the ceiling isn't very good between the tools and the handle inlet because I can feel a lot of airflow leaking around this clip right here. Let's see if the brush bar speeds up when I try and make a seal against here. Okay, I've discovered a design flaw. This turbo brush, so the belt right here is falling off. Why is there no wall on this side of the cog to prevent the belt from slipping off? Whereas on this side, there is. So when it happens, the belt is about to slip off and it rubs against this curved part of the sole plate right here. So yeah, not a very good turbo brush. It's let down by that design flaw. Not happy. Press this yellow catch right here to detach your cyclone and bin. There's a sticker on the back showing you how to maintain the machine, so that's good. So when the bin gets full, you press on this catch at the back. The bin flap opens up, all the dirt should fall out in one go. Now this right here is where the dirt spins around in a cyclonic vortex. A lot of the time hair can get wrapped around this cone. Now maintenance wise, you've got this sponge filter to wash just like a shark, along with a pad under it, just like a shark. You can see the motor right down in there. And on the base of the vacuum, you press on this catch right here to remove this cover. It tells you what to do. I like this yellow filter, it reminds me of a Eureka vacuum. But yeah, there's your HEPA filter, a pleated HEPA filter. So if you've got dust allergies, this is great. It's got a nice gasket around it to prevent any air escaping from anywhere other than through the HEPA media. So here are the settings. You've got either hard floor mode or carpet mode. We're going to put on carpet mode. Nice bright headlights on the front. We've got it on maximum suction mode. So let's get vacuuming. Okay, so far I can notice that the cleaner head is trying to bunny hop. It skips when I pull the machine back, but it rolls really nicely. It's giving very good carpet lines. So far, it's quite impressive. And it is picking up as you can see. I haven't vacuumed since yesterday. And yesterday I used the G-Tech Air Run. It does seem to be picking up quite well, I must say. And so far from this room, that's what we picked up. And I'm going to vacuum normally. So this carpet shows up everything. And you can see that it's picking up absolutely everything in this pack pretty well. The steering on this seems to be quite good as well, you know. Oh, and this is the point where I've unplugged the vacuum because the cable is far too short. So let's see what the Hoover HL4 has picked up so far. And this grit right here is the stuff that can damage your carpet. You know when you have sand or grit in your carpet and you walk on it, that's going to be cutting against the carpet fibres. And now for a filter check. I'm surprised that the filter say this clean, considering it's only a single cyclone design. Just doing a bit of hoovering on the stairs because I'm really enjoying this machine. And now I've discovered to my surprise that this can actually reach up to quite a lot more stairs than I thought it would initially. So we are on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 stairs. Isn't that amazing? Look how far I can reach up the stairs with that. That is way better than a shark, I think. Yeah, definitely. Even though it's only 10 stairs, what you can do is 
use this lift away feature and then have this handheld unit and then you have this who vacuum your stairs i'm really happy with this hoover i think it's brilliant oh and another thing i've noticed is you can't press the cyclone release catch while carrying it so that's a fantastic safety feature like a dyson upright vacuum tab to prevent the machine from falling down when you're carrying it i mean you can remove this can't you obviously for cleaning but not when you're carrying it no matter how hard i shake it it's not coming off very well thought out design and i've discovered another feature guys when you vacuum over anything that jams a brush bar watch what happens it does a whole disco these lights are pretty bright i mean if i turn the lights off look how far the lights are going pretty incredible very bright lights so if I were to improve this vacuum, I would say add a slightly longer cable and a completely different one as well, actually, because this is a flat cable. It's prone to being twisted up and then eventually it's going to get damaged. This wand is far too short, so it could do with being a little bit longer and have better accessories because all it comes with is a crevice tool and a very diabolical excuse for a turbo brush. I wish it had a better cyclone design, but, you know, it's based on a shark. But yeah, not a horrific machine at all. I'm pretty happy with it. So I would say this vacuum gets a solid 8 out of 10. So this has been the new Hoover HL4 Pet Upright Steerable Anti-Hair Wrap or Anti-Twist Vacuum Cleaner. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you are looking forward to a performance test, be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe for more. This has been your host T from Power786 presenting to you the all-new Hoover HL4 Upright Pets Vacuum Cleaner.